if you're not necessarily a coin collector, but you're like a lot of people and have that jar of change sitting at home, and you're not sure maybe there's something valuable in it, then check this out. Hey guys, Chad here with CFA. So I've had a lot of conversations lately with friends and coworkers. You know, they've been watching the channel a little bit, some of them, and we've been talking a lot about coins and whatnot. And many of them, and a lot of you out there, I'm sure, have jars of change just sitting at home. Maybe you don't collect coins, but you just have saved that jar of change over time. Well, you may or may not have something valuable in there, at least worth more than face value that you're not sure about. So right now, I'm going to show you some of the low-hanging fruit, some of the easiest stuff to find the most basic stuff to find that is worth more than face value all right guys first thing I would tell you is if you see something different in that jar of change you have something that you're not used to seeing um, you need to you need to set it aside it, it it warrants further investigation for sure maybe it's foreign coin coinage like this maybe it's an Indian head penny maybe or a buffalo nickel could be mercury dime standing liberty quarter anything that you're not used to seeing in your everyday change you want to set it aside you want to gonna want to look it up in a book if you can or maybe get online look it up um, maybe go to eBay see what they sell for things like that don't just go down to your local coin shop and take the first the first price they give you and sell it off because they're in it to make money too they're not all trustworthy although I know some that are definitely are but uh, you, you definitely want to do some investigation because you might have something more valuable. You just, you never know. All right, next we'll talk about our Lincoln cents. This is a regular old memorial cent that you see every day. Now, when you're going through your change, anything that you see that's 1982 and older is copper. All right, it's mostly copper. Now, I keep those because they are worth more than a penny, and someday we may be able to sell those off for the copper value. But most of you are probably not going to want to do that, so you're not going to be too interested in those. So what you're going to look for is anything 1958 or older. Those are wheat backs. Now the wheat backs are definitely worth more than a penny. Uh, average probably three and a half cents each or something. But if you end, if you happen to have a key date, uh, they can be worth quite a bit more. So they they warrant looking up uh, definitely either online or or in a book. All right, now that brings us to our nickels. This is a Jefferson nickel that you see every day. Really, the main thing you're going to want to look for in the nickels, if you're just quickly going through and looking for the simple stuff, is 1942 through 45. Those are called war nickels, and they are actually made of 35% silver. Those you're definitely going to want to hang on to, because they are worth more than five cents. All right, next is our Roosevelt dime. This is the dime that you see most every day in your change. Uh, the most important thing that you're going to want to look for on the dime is anything 1964 or older. In 1965, they changed from silver to a clad. So anything 64 and older is 90% silver, and you're going to want to hang on to those. All right, now we have our Washington Quarter. This is what you guys see every day in your change once again. Now, on the Washington Quarter, it's just like the dime. You want to find 1964 and older they will be silver alright 1965 they started making them clad now I've also had a lot of questions about this one the bicentennial 1976 and they minted so many of those that they're not worth more than a quarter you know there's a lot of people out there that hang on to them but uh, there's really no more than face value um, premium with with those alright now that brings us to the Kennedy half dollar if you happen to have some of those in your jar of change there is silver to be found. 1964s are 90% silver, and these 1965 through 70 are 40% silver. Everything 71 to present is a clad. And once again, like the quarter, the uh, bicentennial 1976 uh, has no no added no real added premium over face value. All right, now we'll get into some dollar coins that you may possibly have. Right here we see the Sacagawea, Susan B. Here's uh, Ole Ike. We've got the 
the presidential dollars, all those are pretty much worth face value. You're not going to, I mean, without digging deeper, you know, just straight, just real basic, easy stuff going through them. They're basically worth face value. Now, if you happen to have silver dollars, here's one of my favorites, a Silver Eagle. Those started in 1986 um, when they started mending them. And then uh, you've also got peace dollars you may have. And you've got, here's another example, it's a Morgan dollar, another one of my all-time favorites. Now, if you've got a silver dollar, I wouldn't, again, like I said before, I wouldn't just go down to the local coin shop and sell it straight away. I'd do a little investigation, check out the year and the mint. The, these are ones that are worth looking up because you could possibly have a key date that's worth quite a bit of money. You never know. You could have got lucky. All right, so there's some of the absolute basic low-hanging fruit stuff to look for in that jar of change. Now, I know there's a lot of you out there saying, well, he didn't talk about this, he didn't talk about that. You know, I mean, like I saved 2009 dimes and nickels, you know, but I actually sit here, when I go through my change, I've got a magnifying glass out. I'm looking for rare varieties, all that kind of stuff. And you're right, those of you who, like me, go through lots of change, there's a lot more out there to look for. Uh, but I just tried to hit the basics because, like I said before, there's people that have been asking me a lot of questions because they just have that big jar or jug of change just sitting in the corner of their house just collecting dust. And they're like, I wonder, you know, if maybe there's something valuable in it. So I just tried to give them something that they can quickly look for as they go through it before they just take it all to the bank and uh, cash it out. So I hope this was helpful for those of you uh, who have been asking about stuff like that. And if anybody has any questions... Uh, feel free to comment down below, ask away. Maybe I don't have the answer, maybe I can find the answer, or maybe somebody else in the community has the answer. So, Alright, so uh, thanks for watching and keep checking that change.